all right guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today we are going to be talking about trend lines we are going to be talking about trend lines so um what are basically trend lines trend lines are lines connected on the charts on the weeks of the chart you know a lot of people like to draw their trend lines on the body of the chart but then the way i draw my trend line is um really on the weeks of the chart that gives you room to know when you have um, seen a breakout not a false breakout that gives you room when you have seen a clear breakout to the downside or to the upside so let's jump into the charts and we do something for ourselves all right um so this is euro usd on the on the um daily time frame what you want to do first is to go to the weekly time frame to get the overall flow of the market this is euro usd on the weekly time frame after you've gotten the overall flow of the market you want to zoom out and then see the immediate trend in this case this is the immediate trend on what we have on euro usd and then we can see that euro usd is in a downtrend because of the presence of this double top and then we pull back so if you check on the monthly time frame we know that the overall direction of um uh euro usd is to the downside but that is not what we are talking about in this video what we are basically going to be doing in this video is trend lines how to probably draw trend lines and then you uh know when um it has breaking it has broken out of that trend line or it is retesting it so after you've come on the weekly time frame the next thing is to go back to your daily time frame because trend lines are best drawn on the daily time frame trend lines are best drawn on the daily time frame so trend lines uh, are simply drawn from the weeks of the candlesticks not the body trend lines are simply drawn from the weeks of the body not the candlesticks Trend lines are simply drawn from the weeks of the body, not the candlestick. So you want to uh, look at the immediate trend we have in the market. You want to look at the lowest where the market started. And in this scenario, we had this place as the support. We had this place as a support. So this is how you draw your trend line. You come here. This is the two. At the top left corner, you click it. The first two you see there is the trend line. So you, you draw it on the week on, of the candlesticks, on the weeks of the candlesticks. It doesn't really matter what happens uh, later on because imagine uh, this whole place, imagine this whole place was in here. We just had price moving from this point. So you start drawing your, uh, you start drawing your trend line from here. You start drawing your trend line from this bottom here. So we had the first touch. You want to zoom out to make sure that, yes, you are having uh, that correct touch on that trend line. So we had our first touch. We had our second touch. We had the third touch. So this is when you'll be expecting another bounce from the trend line. Did it bounce? Yes, it did. Did it bounce? Yes, it did. This is one thing with trend lines. It is very, very precise on what it wants to do sometimes you might have the fourth touch to be the break of the trend line you just have to watch out for the candlestick formation that uh, goes on when uh, you are having an approach to that trend line sometimes you have to watch out for uh, how the market will react when it is coming down to that trend line here we had that first touch we had the second touch we had that third touch you should know that, yes, this is a complete trend reversal. This is a complete trend reversal because one thing you want to be looking out for is the market trend. This was a low in the market. This was a high in the market. This was a higher low in the market. This was a higher high in the market. This was a higher low in the market. That should even give you more confidence that yes we are about to go to the upside we are about to go to the upside so you should be looking at 
how the trend is going to continue going to the upside till the next, um, let's say the next resistance level, the next major resistance level, like I taught you guys how to draw in the last video. So this is how you draw your trend line for an uptrend scenario. Same thing applies to the downtrend. This is how you still draw your trend line for an uptrend scenario. You want to start from the week of the candlestick. You want to start from the week of the candlestick. Draw it from the support. You cross it, let it touch the weeks, not the body. Let it touch the weeks, not the body. So when you scale down to the four hour time frame, you see a perfect touch. You see a perfect touch on that trend line. That, so that is very, 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 very simple and easy to draw. And as you can see, we had that clear break of that trend line here. We had that body close below this trend line here. Yeah, so we had these bodies close below the trend line and then the market put back to retest that trend line. The market put back to retest that trend line and obviously gave us that inverse head and shoulder pattern. Obviously gave us that inverse head and shoulder pattern, which the market later broke and then it retested it. When you pull out your Fibonacci from swing high here to swing low, you can see the market retested it. It's really that simple guys it's really that simple guys you just have to know what you are doing in the market so this is for an uptrend <clears throat> this is for an uptrend um scenario so we are going to quickly look out for a downtrend scenario we are going to quickly look out for a downtrend scenario and then for a downtrend scenario we are going to use um AUD USD for a downtrend scenario we are going to use AUDUSD. So first, what you want to do is to come on your weekly time frame. What you want to do is to come on, on your weekly time frame to get the overall picture of the market. Is the market uh is the market down or the market is up? So that is what you would like to do. Just come on the weekly time frame, then you quickly scale down to the uh daily time frame because that is where obviously draw your trend line from because on the weekly it might take a couple of weeks before it reaches the before the market actually before the market actually reaches there so you want to go on the um uh, you want to go on the monthly on the weekly time frame to get the overall direction in the market and then you scale down to your daily time frame so this is how you do it you draw your candles from uh from the immediate trend from here to here this is how you draw it you make sure the first touch touches you make sure the first touch happens the first touch if the first touch happens the second one happens and then you are obviously expecting that third touch to happen why did I draw like this? Because we had a high. We had that low. We had a high. We had that low. We had another lower high. We had another lower low. The market came in and then it broke the trend line. This is where you start looking for an uptrend. This is where you start looking for an uptrend in the market. This is where you start looking for an uptrend in the market. The market broke it and then retested it. The market broke it and then it has um, obviously retested it and then went to the upside. And as you can see, the market broke it with a full body closure above it. Market broke it with a full body closure above it. That is another criteria to be looking at for when you get a break of a uh, trend line. This is how to properly draw your trend lines from uh, you look at the weekly time frame, you scale down to your um, daily time frame to draw your trend lines. It is best for swing traders, it is best to draw your trend lines on the daily time frame to know what you are doing. You can draw your counter trend lines on the four hour to um, get that sniper entry on your trades. So, um, 
this is how you draw your trend lines. And then obviously, um, we have here, the market has changed direction to the upside, which we uh, know because of the Fibonacci play, we have price uh, rejecting from that point. We're going to be looking out for this week to know what the market really has for us. So um, that is what we have for this video to be perfecting uh, trend lines, which is a very, very insightful video. Make sure you like, make sure you like and comment. Tell me what you feel about this video. I love you guys. Take care of yourself and peace out.